Hello everyone, my name is Martin Linksfeld and I'm Master Chef in FoggyKitchen.com. In this short video, I will try to show you a new feature in OCI which has been introduced a few days back in February 2020. Previously, when you need to access autonomous database in OCI, you have to use public IP addresses. Now, you can create private endpoint and nest uh, ATP or ADW in a particular VCN and subnet. That means now your web server or any other application server can reach data without going outside in any sense. Let me show you Terraform code and then immediately I will deploy the example in the real OCI environment. But first, as previously, we will start with quick topology diagram review. One thing more. If you are new to this channel, I really encourage you to subscribe it. I hope you will find it useful for your current and future work. Here is our topology diagram. It's very simple. We have one VCN with two subnets, right? One subnet is for web server. Another one is for ATP private endpoint. According to documentation, we will deploy network security groups for web server and ATP endpoint. As a consequence, we will be able to access ATP from web server via private IP, right? SQL net connection will uh, be built with the usage of port 1522 and TD wallet. With our example code, we will deploy a Flask web server, web micro framework written in Python. We also need to have Oracle Instant Client and Python CX Oracle Library. All of that will be downloaded and deployed automatically. Our example Flask-based application will reach ATP database and it will execute select uh, statement which will uh, try to obtain name of the database from v$ uh, database uh, uh, view, right? Okay, and then this code will uh, return a string. I'm connected to ATP database via private endpoint. ATP database taken from uh, is taken from v$ database view, and the name of uh, that uh, database name will be dynamically populated by by this code, right? And of course, uh, it means we will be able to see the web page, right? And this web page, as I have said, will be created for us automatically and visible under public IP address of our web server. Okay, let's review quickly Terraform code, especially regarding ATP private endpoint. Okay, currently we have a local clone of our GitHub repo for private uh, and ATP endpoint. First of all, let's go to our VCN. So just one VCN, Foggy Kitchen, and two subnets, right? One for web server and another one for ATP private endpoint, right? Uh, in uh, subnet for web server, we will have one web server which is built with core instance resource and it will be a mm, public available uh, web server, right? So, and we have also ATP here. And previously I have published a repository for ATP and the big difference regarding the code is here. So three additional um, attributes of OCI database autonomous uh, uh, autonomous database resource. So we are building first of all network security uh, groups which will be associated here. We will have private endpoint, endpoint level and we have subnet where this endpoint will be nested, right? Um, one thing more regarding web server, we will have also network security groups associated with this web server. So we are not using security lists at, at all. Uh, so on the VNIC level, right, we will associate web security group and SSH security group, right, with this web server. 
for ATP, uh, we will have a um, network security group called ATP Security Group, right? So let's go and review that in details. We have, as I have said, three resource, three uh, security network security groups, right? Uh, the first two will be associated with uh, our web server and the last one will be associated with our ATP. What about the rules related to those groups? They are uh, defined here in security group rule TF file. And first we have ATP security groups, uh, egress and ingress, right? Um, for egress, it's pretty simple. We are going outside uh, um, like previously, and the egress uh, is a little bit different. So we are defining port 1522 for, for the traffic going from uh, our VCN, right? Uh, what, is, uh, what, what do we have about web security group? We have something uh, which was not previously discussed a uh, destination which is yet another security group right this ATP one what does it mean it means our web server in case of traffic going outside uh, will go uh, into ATP security group right and it will be uh, it will be you know allowed to to access our ATP ATP instance right and uh, that is generally everything what I would like to say about, uh, about configuration of private endpoint. Additionally, we have the specific to this particular code uh, list of uh, null resources which will install a lot of things, right? First of all, on the web server, we'll install, all, uh, we'll install Oracle Instant Client, then uh, Python 3.6 uh, with the pip3 will install CX Oracle and Flask uh, packages mm, and then we will upload SQL net aura uh, and our wallet right and uh, ultimately we will install uh, we will upload also our Python code which will uh, have this you know, uh, Flask-based application. We have also additional uh, shelf wrapper, which is necessary. And ultimately, mm, uh, we will also upload uh, the the wallet into proper directory and SQLnet to the proper directory as well. And the last null resource, uh, last step in the sequence is to run uh, Flask server uh, from this shelf wrapper. And let and of course change the password, the ATP password to the proper value. So uh, let me show you the code. The wrapper is pretty simple. We are exporting LD library path and we are running Python three with our uh, Flask underscore ATP Python file. And this Python file uh, I have shown previously on the slide for topology is uh, really simple. Right, so we are setting up connection to our mm, to our database. Mm, uh, we are then uh, running the cursor to select name from VDollar database, fetch one record for DB name, uh, closing cursor, cl closing connection, and returning the screen string with with the proper DB name uh, dynamically. And of course, the host will. Uh, this web server will be running on the, on on port 80, right? And we can then expect uh, we will be able to access this web page from external external subnet, if external net, so from public internet. And that is all for uh, the code review. And now we will go into our Terraform and, and we will test this uh, configuration. Okay, I'm I'm currently uh, on my Terraform server, uh, in a in a local clone uh, of our um, of our private ATP repository, and let let me run Terraform apply, 
and we will see what uh, Terraform is planning to run. So 26 resources to be added and we have also database, ATP database and few things new as you can see regarding endpoint. And uh, okay, so I'll type PS here and yeah, it will take some time. So uh, let me pause for a moment um, uh, and I'll show you everything afterwards. Okay, Terraform has finished. 26 resources uh, have been added. Mm, and as you can see in the background, uh, we have ATP already deployed. And as you can see, this ATP is nested in our VCN. And the endpoint is in uh, ATP endpoint subnet. Our ATP has received uh, private IP 10.0.2.2. .2, and we are uh, also equipped here with uh, ATP security network security group so let us click here and what does it mean it means we have uh, ingress and egress rule uh, for ingress it's pretty simple uh, from within our VCN uh, as a source uh, we can access uh, destination port 1522 and for egress so for traffic going outside we can go on all of the ports and all of the uh, TCP traffic through um, to our VCN not outside right okay that's that what we have and uh, let me test our code and I will pick up this web server public IP I will go here and immediately I am able to see uh, our web page. So ATP database taken from V$ database view is, and here is dynamic name of our database. Okay, and that is all for a moment. And I think our uh, testing is finished and it works fine. I have decided to do one more thing to convince you that we are really uh, using private IP. So currently I'm on our web server and I'm going to the client Oracle client uh, configuration and let me show you T, uh, TNS names Aura. And as you can see, uh, this uh, TNS names Aura has been taken from our wallet zip file which has been uh, unzipped here. And let me uh, check NS lookup for uh, this particular host, which is here, right? And uh, yeah, so uh, small typo. I need to copy that properly. ADB, okay, like this. As you can see, it's a local private address, right? Private IP. So it's it's a proof that we are really going through port 1522 and private address from web server perspective. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, I hope it was useful and interesting and do not uh, f uh, forget about subscribing to this uh, YouTube channel if you are new. And that's all. Thank you.